Hey everybody, welcome back to this old trike. Got me and my girl Palin in the shop here today. And let me tell you what we are gonna do. Today we are going to be focusing on filling up our new toolbox. Palin is sporting her new, uh, let's read the, the back of your hat, I guess which normally would be the front. Her new Knox Machine Company hat sent to us by Dylan. And Travis Anderson, number eight, is Dylan's racing number. And I've got a, a nifty new Knox performance, or Knox. Let's get the name on that. Look the other way. Knox Machine Company hat. So thank you guys for sending us that. So while we transfer tools over from my thoroughly disgusting work surface here, and my little tool cart will also be transferring a lot of these containers, like from lunch meat. Um, I keep a lot of my nuts and bolts in those. And I've noticed that the depth of these drawers will accommodate. Let me move that for me. The depth of these drawers will accommodate these containers so I can lay out all my Honda nuts and bolts. And eventually I'm going to electroplate them and... Uh, make them all nice and shiny. So we'll get this loaded up with tools and nuts and bolts. And we got our light here. Oh, I guess we got to turn it on here too. Man, how embarrassing. There it is. So really looking forward to getting that filled up. These surfaces cleaned off. I want to go underneath my... My bench here, where if you watched part one of this series, you saw I made all this nice storage area, which is good for, you know, the containers that, you know, toolkits come in. But the thing is, that was like four toolkits ago. Those batteries are probably shot. I can't even, you know, get replacements to charge them like that. That is honestly garbage. That's probably the same story. My buddy Nate wants that welder. I'm going to give him that welder. You saw him in the last video. Because I've upgraded to this Hobart. I just got miscellaneous stuff down here that has been tucked away and it's unutilized at this point or underutilized to be nice about it. So, do I put some shelves in so I can put other things in there and store them better than just being stacked on each other? I want to have this tool bench cleared out. I've never been one to put a pegboard up. But maybe, maybe I need to move to a, a storage system on this wall. But we're going to work our way around the room, starting in this area, and try to make at least this portion clean by the end of the video and have our tools in this box. <laughs> You're something, Palin. Okay, that being said, let's get to work. So I had to run into the house quick and Miss Palin, who likes to wear sunglasses for videoing, has uh, has done some work for me. So let's see what she has done. All right, Palin, before we talk about what you have done, let's make mention that we finished assembly of the toolbox. Comes complete with a bottle opener. Uh, I've gotten to the point where I don't really drink anymore, so that's not necessarily of tremendous value to me. There are some brackets that go here on the back that connect top to bottom, so that is a good idea, and a handle. And they give you holes to mount the handle on either side, and in the first video, I was deciding what I wanted to do, where I wanted to put it, because these wheels don't swivel, and these wheels do swivel, so you want your handle on the swivel side. It would be cool to maybe see if they sell swivel replacements and I can have the whole thing swivel. That would be super duper handy. But Palin, do you need to wear those glasses? Your eyes are so pretty. There they are. <laughs> so what did you do while I was in the house? So th no. this comes with uh, these mats, the kind of non-stick mats, and they give you them for all the drawers. So that's nice, nice texture. 
they're not a sticky mat, but they just go in. I brought over my tote of lunch meat containers filled with nuts and bolts and other miscellaneous stuff. And Palin has put them in this drawer. So that's cool. The tops are dusty. So one thing I'm excited about is when I do create dust, stuff that normally sits out like on this cart, which we need to clean off next, uh, can go in my drawers. I can close the top down and have dust control. <laughs> you look upset, Palin. Your body language. Look at your body language. You're all closed off. Okay. We'll we'll save the body language lesson for a future video. Soft close. Did you see that? Um, what we're going to do now, because here's my thing. I got these tools, and I don't have a system yet. So I want to think about how I want to place my tools. You know, obviously, these are shallower drawers. So one will probably be wrenches and sockets. One will probably be screwdrivers and chisels and tools like that that have a handle and, you know, a long end. Um, this drawer, see, that's got, all right, so I got to think about this. This has, this has a cool workbench in it. And yes, I did put the mat in. I'm and then it has a space underneath. Don't pinch your fingers. Don't pinch your fingers. Um, so that's it for the top. So let me get into the lower. I did buy a couple things. This is a, uh, open that one drawer, the next lowest. Yep, yep, that one. So I did buy something like this, which I don't even know that I need this many, but this is a holder for tools with handles. See a pair of scissors right here. You know, you can store your, your pliers and things upright so they're not all laying flat. I saw that on a video. Uh, Hometown Acres, I believe, is the YouTube channel. I saw that on. I've been following that guy. Um, I'll post a screenshot or a link of his channel to give him some credit for that. But he's interviewed a friend of his that is like the guru for shop organization. So I've been seeing what they have to say. He's got a lot of next level stuff that, you know, if you don't, it's like a Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you don't have the basics taken care of, you're not worrying about, you know, making grinder hinges to put your store your grinder under your bench. Um. All right, that's it for now. We're gonna we're gonna do some thinking, and we're gonna give you an update once we get these tools moved from this cart and maybe some other areas of the shop. Well, it's been a number of days since I've checked in. Um, we've made progress on the toolbox and getting things organized, but not done by any stretch uh, with regard to that, as well as some other areas. And my camera's going funky, so we're just going to roll with that. But I want to give an update and show you where we're at and what my plan is for today. Well, I'll start by talking about this Grom that I picked up. If you remember my video where I brought home the three-wheeled mini truck and these three machines, the Big Blue, the 250R, and also this Grom. This Grom's going to a new home today. That gentleman's probably three hours away. So that'll help free up the shop. Um, let's see what else. Fat Cat is still in here. I wheeled the 7590 into the other room. This is going to a new home, this 85 200X. Jerry, if you remember, uh, that's going to a new home on Monday. Oh, I got some goodies. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Marty from the legendary ATV Society. He sent me this clock and it is awesome. Was that 86 250R ripping? About quarter to one out here at the shop. Also sent me a care package of some decals. That's pretty sweet. Uh, oh, shoot. There was more. Where's that box?
little love note here. Awesome keychain. Some more stickers. I'll be featuring these on my toolbox once I get set up. And then uh, the guys over there, Nick and Nick, Nick and Slick at the old ATC boys on YouTube. If you don't watch them, you need to. Make sure you give them a subscribe too. Sent me a, they had decals made for the AT Ski, which is pretty awesome. Nick took his 87 Big Red and put a ski on the front and some custom track work on the back. Pretty smart, if you ask me. But moving on. So here's where I've kept my tools primarily, just because it's easy to move them around. Gave me a surface, but it ended up not being enough for the tools I need on a regular basis. We've moved a lot of things over to my toolbox here. I don't, anything I'm going to show you here is not necessarily how it's going to be. But just to give you a sneak peek, we've got screwdrivers and then some miscellaneous other hand tools up top. First drawer, second drawer is my, is my wrenches and ratchets. But without putting my sockets on their side, I can't put sockets in here, but it's pretty maxed out as it is. This drawer, I don't know how I feel about this. It's been helpful, so I've got a, a, a wood surface that lifts up. And I'm putting some you know, diagnostic type electronics tools in there. They may or may not stay in that area, but the fact that this isn't an open drawer is a negative, but it is a, a positive that it's a work surface because I have been using that as we go. Got cutting tools here, measuring tools here. That's a set of calipers. Drill bits. You know, that barely fits in there, but this might be my drill bit drawer. Seems to be good. Nothing in here yet. That's lockable, so I'm trying to see if I consider anything special enough to be locked up. So this is a heavy drawer. I've got my sockets over there. You know, my pliers, my grabbing, pinching tools here. I got some new some mini pliers, and Neil knows there. Got some cutting tools, some got my torque wrench. I don't know. I don't know that this is how this is going to be. I'm just putting things in kind of as I get it and rearranging. Oh, we have a special visitor. Hey, honey. Where's your coat? You wore that from the house to here? You ran. You So you outran the fact that it's 16 degrees out? Palin, Rebecca. I'm glad you guys saw that. So this is... This is... Miscellaneous OEM nuts and bolts. Um, these obviously aren't cleaned. But these are, you know, things you amass while you work on things and take things apart. Rubber grommets. Anti-fade nuts. I had two drawers worth of that sort of stuff. And I've still got more on the shelf over behind me that we need to clean up and organize. So here's corded hand tools. What I've decided, and I'll say this in just a second, this is some socket sets, some other hand tools, overflow drill, electric stapler. That's probably used only one time. That's still open. This is still open. But what I think is this is going to be all my mechanic stuff over here. No coat, can't believe you. Over here, we're cleaning this out. Some of these tools came from here. This is going to be woodworking oriented. And my goal today is to clean this whole surface off, get homes for things. I've already pulled things out and vacuumed out and organized here. So there's my pass loads, nail guns. That's a, a kit that came, you know, the case that came with a, a set of craftsman tools that I I use, but I, they're my house tools now, So, but I got the saw and everything in there. I've got empty cases from tools that have since died or batteries aren't available anymore. But as I clean out the rest 
of these compartments. I'm going to put a drawer there. I'm going to put a drawer there, a drawer there, or at minimum a shelf. So we can really utilize each nook and cranny of this. I never featured this, but my, my good friend Sean made that for me, 3D printed that for me. I don't know if that's the right word. He's a 3D printing guru, but he made that on one of his many tools. So I'm going to clean this surface off. I want to get the toolbox from this corner over there over to this corner. Wheel that table out. That's 250R stuff that goes to this project over here. There's my daughter. No coat. Can't believe you. Stop it. Um, I think my toolbox will reside over there. And this will be the primary area where I'm working on things, I think. So, all right, I'm going to let this go. Probably got enough to wrap this video up today as a nice part two and show some good progress. And that's all. Okay. I think we've had a productive time out here in the shop. So this is like two weekends worth of work. Me and the girl. We had some help from, I don't know, was Bennett any help? No. He's going to see this, you know? Yeah. Okay. So apparently Bennett didn't help much. I think he helped a little bit. So what we've done, we've turned this, at least the top part, into Palin's cleaning cart. Mm -hmm. We've put the toolbox over in the corner. We've got my... Everything's on wheels, so it can be moved however I want it. But this is now a bench here. I can I can get into my tools and whatnot that are there. I can pull my drawers out here if I need to get to the the shelving behind there. Everything can roll out. I had a set of shelves kicking around that seemed to be perfect for that little area. So I've got some plastic bins and whatnot just sitting there. Things can stand to be organized a little bit better. I don't know that I like my grinder here. I didn't bolt it down. It's just kind of sitting there with some screws holding it where it needs to be. My table saw is still atrocious. We've wheeled out the 200X. That goes to its new home tomorrow. All three of these machines need to have a little bit of work done to them and then they're going to be rehomed if you're interested let me know this is all 250r parts on this table that go to this machine that has been pretty much a year in progress i do my my projects at a snail's pace i don't know that i like this table here but we're going to go with it for now but this is where we're going to leave the shop. I'm pleased. I'm happy. Did I get everything done that I wanted to? No. But I'm used to that. And I think we started out this video talking about the hats we got from our buddy Travis at Knox Machine Company. So thanks again, guys, for those hats. I think that's it. Hey, Palin, somebody asked me what your favorite machine is that oh. that your dad has. Do you have a favorite? Whatever your favorite is. Am I putting you on the spot? Do you want to think about it and then... Can Ryan do a truck? Ryan, right, right, sure. Ryan, the three-wheeled mini truck? I'll think about the actual intro. All right. Time. Yeah, next time we'll chime in with your favorite Honda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, great. Second. She didn't like that I put her on the spot. But thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you like and subscribe. We're not done with this project, and you'll definitely want to see the uh, see the ending once it's over. So from Preston and Palin here at this old trike, have a great day. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, which is today. I, not that I follow football or sports at all, but when I was about 12, 
back in the very early 90s, I arbitrarily picked the Rams, the Los Angeles Rams, as my favorite team. I had the starter jacket. I had the whole nine yards. I'll overlay a picture of me at about 12 years old wearing that jacket. You're going to think that's funny. It's going to be right there. Um, but they're playing in the Super Bowl today, so hopefully they come out victorious, but we'll see. So have a great evening and go Rams.